Good day, everyone. Okay. Hello, Natalia. Hello, Valentina. Hello. So how are you, Natalie? Not so good as I want. Why? I was ill this weekend. Ah. Oh. And what? It was flu. Yes. And how are you feeling right now? Good. Better. More better than on weekend. Mm hmm. I understand. So you did not do anything, you stayed at home? Yes. Drinking vitamins? Like chat. in the bed. In the bed. Mm. Gel. <laughs> 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 but either way, the... I think uh, next weekend uh, I will be more active. For sure, of course. Of course. Maybe you will go to the Rechka, maybe, I don't know. I think it will be a seaside. Um, mm -hmm. And which seaside? Azov. Not bad, not bad. So you will go for two it's days, three days? The nearest days? seaside to the Kharkiv region. Mm. Only two days, and then you will come back. Um, from Friday till to Monday. Uh -huh. Ah, yes, because it will be vacation on Monday. I remember. Yes. Dimpa bed or something like this. I don't know. The independence. Ah, uh -huh. independence. Independence. Yes. Not victor. I understand. That's the trade of August. Hmm. Yes, why not? 24, 23, it's a... Uh, Sunday. Then Vizval in Kharkov. Yuck. Yuck. Mm -hmm. <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay, <In> okay. English. <laughs> so what about the home task? Did you solve it? Yes, I solved it. You solved it while you were sick or before? Uh, before. Oh, okay. <laughs> Do you have any questions? Or it was easy? No, it was uh, enough easy for me. Mm -hmm. Today I will send you the last task. It will be number 12. I can see we have only ladies today. Where's Roman and his boss? Okay, Natalia. Yes. See, men, they're always busy. <laughs> We're glad to have you, and I wish you a full recovery. Take care of yourself. Drink a lot of vitamins, tea, and take some tablets. Mm, Valentina. How are you, Valentina? Hello, I'm fine. How is Krasnograd? Still on the place, no misty. St still exist, yes. <laughs> yes. Still staying. <laughs> still staying. <laughs> so, what did you do this weekend? I I wanted to go to Italy again. <laughs> <laughs> and what happened? It's all. I. I <laughs> I didn't went to. Well, I didn't go to Italy, but I wanted again. <laughs> I wanted already. Some glove the shot. He wanted, but it's a very hard I process hope, to want. Yes, I hope uh, the quarantine will be uh, finished soon. Well, it's a very difficult wish, but uh, but I hope. <laughs> 
but I guess uh, they opened the airplanes. You can go to Italy. No. No? Mm -mm. Only to Istanbul or to Turkey? Yes, or Egypt. Ah, mm. okay. You want to go to Milano, Rome, mm. Positano, mm. Capri, <laughs> yes, yes. <laughs> you wanted to go, but you didn't. I stayed at home. Okay. But I, I can to want. I want. I can want. <laughs> yes, of course, of course. You are free, independent, and yes, uh, yes, yes. I understand. <laughs> uh, what else do you want other than going to Italy? Learn English, clean house, like always. Well, it's not good. Not bad. Learn not English. Yes, you're already learning English and you're already cleaning house, your house. So, you see, some some, some of the desires they can happen, <laughs> but Italy, <laughs> it's wonderful, <laughs> I think. I understand. So, did you solve the home task? I did it. it easy, yes, easy peasy, yes, <laughs> easy peasy. Okay, okay, okay. Last one, it will be also. I guess easy peasy. No. <laughs> so, so that you will remember me in a very good uh, intentions. So <laughs> it will what be. What is intentions? Uh, intentions, intentions. So like this, I my intentions was going to Italy, but it didn't happen. <laughs> <laughs> I understand. So. Okay, Valentino, we can see Nicola and his boss with us also. Hello, Nicola. How are you? How are you? As usual, I'm fine. Still breathing? Mm, yes. <laughs> yes. So, I guess one month and the uh, house will be ready. Oh, you... So, so. Uh, but uh, I think I can live in this house. And you will make a party? Maybe, yes. But uh, some later. Ah, you 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 will uh, invite uh, your boss. Roman, of course, or? of course. <laughs> of course. <laughs> yes. yes. <laughs> Roman will bring vodka and piva and everything. Uh, and another alcohol uh, <laughs> drinks. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Cognac, for example, or uh -huh. um, wine. Uh huh. Tequila. I see, I see Roman. He is like a silpo. He have everything. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> okay, so what did you do this weekend? Yes, you did. The same, yes? Yes. <laughs> mm -hmm. I understand. So you will invite us also, maybe with me, Natalia, and Valentina. Come on, we are no, a group. No problem. <laughs> <laughs> okay. But you live in Paltava, yes? Yes. Mm. Okay, I can come by motorcycle, it's okay. You have a motorcycle? Yes. A rich but motorcycle? I have Suzuki Bergman 650. Mm. Yes, last year I was in Paltava. It took one hour and 10 minutes from Kharkiv. <laughs> My dream is motorcycle. Which one? Uh, sport bike. <laughs> uh huh. Sport bike. Fast. Yeah. Fast. Well, Mine is not sport bike, mine is a cruiser, Harley Davidson Night Road. Oh. Yes, but it's expensive. <laughs> uh, I know. <laughs> it's more than 25,000, so <laughs> it's really... Oh. But that's why it's a dream, you know? Yes, it's a, yes. Okay, what about the home task? Did you solve or you didn't have time? Yes, yes, um, I did homework. Uh -huh. Easy. Oh, yes. And Not you... difficult. Mm -hmm. Okay. What about the boss? Roman, how are you? Hello, I'm fine. <laughs> Sorry, my boss doesn't make noise, many noise. <laughs> Your boss? <laughs> yes. <laughs> okay, okay. So, boss of the boss. So, what did you do this weekend, Roman? Oh. Yes, Roman. 
Oh yeah, I have some problem with my internet. Mm. I asked you about your weekend. What did you do? I I was river with my daughter. <laughs> you have only one daughter. Hey, we have a problem with Roman and connection. Roman. Hello, oh, Dan. I said, how many children do you have? Oh. How many children? Yeah, Roman. Okay, Roman. Maybe later we will talk because now I see you're busy and the connection is not good at all with you. Okay. Hmm. Unfortunately, he cannot hear us. Okay, guys. So today is the lesson is uh, number twelve number 12 and it will be the last lesson next week i try to make it only a different kind of uh, exercises tasks so you will only have to open the group chat and to write next week okay so let us start today guys we'll talk about workshop operations and repair and maintenance so i combine two lessons with each other so we'll match some pictures with some words reading we have a lot of vocabulary guys i recommend you to take a pen and to write them because maybe they are new words i don't know we have some listening grammar it's my job pronunciation and writing okay so the same approach as each and every time so let us start and kick off with the workshops. As you can see here, guys, we have two pictures of workshops. Yes. So now I want you to look at these two workshops and I want Natalia to tell me which one is neat and tidy. Hey. Sure has. Which one is neat and tidy, Natalia? Hey. Neat and tidy. What is neat and tidy, Natalia? I don't remember. Then why you are saying A? <laughs> <laughs> neat and tidy, it means organized and clean. Mm. Mm. B. Uh -huh. <laughs> yes. B. So neat, tidy, it's like organized and clean. So it is B. Okay. Valentina, which one is messy? Mm -hmm. Messy, it means unorganized or disorganized, yes. where everything is over. And Mikola, which one is safer to work in? And more easy. Sa uh, uh, safer B uh, than uh, A. Yes. Because as you can see here, guys, in A, everything is on the ground, on the table, a lot of disorganized things. And it's always safer to work in a workshop where everything is organized and clean and in its place. Okay. Uh huh. Now, guys, Natalia, in which workshop it is easy to lose tools? In A. Mm hmm. Because everything. To be honest, it's very hard to find things in A. Okay, on which, Valentina, in which uh, one it's easy to find tools? Hello? Yes, hello. On the picture B. Yes, because everything is in, in its place, so Organized. yes, we can find easily the tools. And the last one for Mikola, easy to work in. Or is it to work uh, B? Yes. Yes, correct. Mikula, have you worked in a workshop before? <laughs> Unfortunately, now I have uh, Bardock. 
but, in my but, garage. Yeah. But I guess you have one in your house. Uh, not order. Uh, <laughs> but, have I, it? Uh, but I love order and I can, uh, I try uh, to keep my tools in order. So it's like B? Like B. <laughs> but now uh, I have like A. <laughs> I understand. Now, guys, look at the workshop rules. Natalia, read for me, please, the workshop rules. Keep the floors tidy and dry. Uh, keep the workbenches clean. Uh, put tools always when you finish the job. Away. Uh, every... Put tools put away. away. When you mm -hmm. finish a job, don't block the exit. When you leave, Turn off the lights and all of your equipment. Mm -hmm. So, as we can see, these are the workshop rules. Read the workshop rules for each rule. Find an example in picture A where the rule has been broken. Hmm. Let us see. What about keep the floor tidy and dry in A? Is it correct or not? We don't see. Mm, yes, we cannot see the floor. No, somehow we can see the desk, maybe. Mm. Okay, what about the workbench? Is it clean? No. It's not clean at all. And what about the tools? Are they away when they he finished the job, for example? Did he put them in his the place? In the, in the A picture, no, they don't. Mm -hmm. Don't block the exit. Do we have an exit in picture A? Well, he's trying to tell us that the exit is blocked also in picture A. <laughs> <laughs> he, he only showed us. Gray block, <laughs> I see them. <laughs> yes. <laughs> and, and when you leave, turn off the lights and all of your equipment. Mm -hmm. I guess he did not leave. Ask me why. Because he took a photo. <laughs> so we cannot know if he turned off the light or no. But here what they are telling us in general, guys, that these rules that you have to follow. The floors, they should be tidy and dry. Always dry. Yes, so that they will not, uh, someone will not fall and hurt himself. Workbenches should be clean. It means that everything is organized so they can work properly, put the tools away when you finish the job, also for organization, uh, organizing, sorry. Don't block the exit in case some emergency, the exit should always be not blocked, as you remember in the sign, warning signs. And when you leave, turn off the lights and all of your equipment. Uh, yes, all of your equipment, because most uh, some of the equipments are electric, electrical equipments like the driller and so on. And they should be switched off okay so that nothing happened with electricity nothing bad happens with electricity okay guys so these are the workshops now let us read uh, sorry let us listen first but before let us match each, each workshop responsibility with an explanation let us start with hmm, valentina number one Maintaining equipment. Yes. No, number one, dealing with dealing, money. Dealing with money. Yes, so which one shows us is dealing with, uh, with money? Dealing with money. I don't know. Mm. Mm -hmm. well, maybe it's uh, C. Managing budgets. Yes. Yes. Managing budgets. Budgets. It's how much uh, he's paying. Uh, yes. Payments and everything. Maybe it can be salary. It can be mm -hmm. something else. How things that he bought and things that he needs and so on. So yes, correct. Uh, Mikola, organizing times and dates. Which one? Uh, I think it's uh, F. F. Work plan. Yes. Mm hmm. 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 Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Try again to look. 
because somehow mm -hmm. F is correct. Making schedules. Maybe. Yes, yes, Raspisania, something like this, making schedules. It's organizing times and dates, correct. Okay, Natalia. I didn't hear you, Natalia. Making broken things work. Do you mm -hmm. hear me? Yes. Yes. <laughs> Repairing equipment, B. B. Okay. Now, Roman, can you talk? Yes. Number four. Taking care of machines, for example, oiling them. Mm -hmm. A. Maintaining equipment. Yes, correct. Maintaining equipment. Now, Mikola, organizing people, equipment, and the jobs. F. Yes, this one is F. And the last one for Valentina. It was hot, but I tried. <laughs> it will be hard. <laughs> putting in new, taking out damaged parts replacing and putting... Equipment. Yes, replacing broken equipment. Correct. Dealing with money, organizing time and dates, making working things work, taking care of machines, for example, oiling them, organizing people, equipment, and the jobs, taking out damaged parts and putting them in new parts. Okay. Now I want you, I guess I would recommend you to use a pen because I will read for you six conversations. Okay. And when I will finish reading the six conversations, you will tell me number one, which responsibility from A to F? Okay, as you can see here inside the picture. Okay, so you will hear their conversation. I guess you will take some notes because they are six. And then you will tell me number one is which one, number two and so on. Okay, so I will start. Conversation number one. Have you done the, main, the monthly maintenance on the compressor? Yes, I have checked the pressure and added oil. No problems. No, no problems. Conversation number two. They had a leak water pipe at the gathering station and Khalid stopped the leak. Good. Conversation number three. What have you done about the lights in the car park? I, the, the switch was broken. We've taken out the old switch and put in a new one. Conversation number four. Are you busy today? We've got a team meeting at eight o'clock. At 10, we start work on the pipeline 29. What time do you finish? Nine o'clock tonight. At five. We need two men at 1236 tomorrow. They need welding gear. We also need two men here at the workshops. Okay, Aziz and Stas can go to the 36. Adam should stay at the workshop. Adam and, I guess Adam and Halim. Okay. And conversation number six. Have you finished the budget? Yes. Does it look okay? Yes, we spent 20,000 on a new working equipment this year. Next year we can spend 25,000. Hmm. So guys, so guys, how do you think? Number one, what is it? A. Number one is A? Yes. Maintaining equipment, you mean? Yes. Okay. Maintenance, yes, I've checked the message. Yes, correct, it's maintenance. Correct. I'm doing also with you guys because I, uh, I did not do it. So, okay, correct number one. What about number two? B. What about number two? B? B. They had a leak water pipe at the gathering station. Stopped the leak. Mm -hmm. Correct. Correct. B. Okay. Number three. E. Which one? 
e. replace and broken code. E. Yes, correct. Mm, guys, till now everything is correct. Okay, what about four? D. Making schedules, you mean? Mm. Let us see. We need to. Uh, are you busy today? We're not meeting anymore. Hmm? Hmm? Yes? Yes, yes, yes. Yes, yes, yes. Correct. What about five? Yeah. F. We need to mend. Yes. It's F. And C. And C. Mm. And the last one is maintenance budget. Yes. Mm. I'm proud of you guys. That's correct. <laughs> so we have maintenance equipment. We have uh, repairing equipment number two. Number three, we have replacing broken equipment. Yes. Number four, we have making schedules. Number five, working uh, planning, work planning, sorry. And number six, it's managing budgets. Yes, 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 correct. Okay, now let us read. Uh, Natalia, start reading, please. Smart workshop management. A working management day is filled with problems. Broken equipment in, is in difficult locations, expensive repairs on small budgets, people working closely together using powerful tools and equipment. There will always be problems, but smart workshop management can make work easier, quicker and safer. Okay. Valentina, continue, please. Uh, keep the workbench clean and clear. A clean workshop is safer. It makes workers more productive. Uh, keep the floor clean and dry. Uh, create safety zones around large tools. The person who is uh, using the tool can be used inside the, the line. Other must stay outside the line. Okay. Roman, continue. Use good uh, lighting over book areas. Uh, always put tools away after using them. Use words on uh, tools uh, be sure uh, that wo uh, workers kill and use personal protection e equipment. Uh, give clear work instruction for working safely. safely. Uh, mm -hmm. Tell workers uh, what uh, to do and how to do it. Okay, Mikola, continue. Take care of your workers. Maintain all machinery and tools. Stop using unsafe machines or tools. Spend time with your workers. Learn how they work. Everyone works uh, differently. You may get some good ideas by watching. Watch for possible hazards. Use equipment and materials that can keep your workers safe. A clean, organized workshop prevents problems. Yes. So here, guys, managing the workshop, they are telling us about how a smart workshop management is and what about the top 10 tips that they are giving us. Okay. So find the words in the text that means. Okay. Now we will look for synonyms. Okay. Mm, let us start with Vala. Able to do a lot of work. One second. Mm -hmm. The one second is finished. Smart workshop management. Able to do a lot. <laughs> Yes. Mm -hmm. Smart workshop management, not able to do a lot of work. No, it's only one word. Workshop. I don't know, but I try to find it. 
Productive. Yes, productive. 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 Correct. If someone who is able to do a lot of work, it means that he is productive. Okay. Now, Natalia, an area where only one person may work. Workshop. But she only one person. <laughs> what you want? You want the workshop only for you? <laughs> no. An area where only one person may work. How do you think, guys? For all of you now, the question. Safety zone. Yes. So I see Natalia, she answers for uh, Vala, and Vala answers for Natalia. Okay. Okay. <laughs> Roman, now Mikola will answer for him. Okay. Part, <laughs> part of a tool that protects workers' fingers, hands, eyes, etc. What do we call them? Sure, Roman. Yeah. Personal protection equipment. Yes, PPE, personal protection <laughs> equipment, correct. And the last one for Mikula. A danger or risk? Others. Yes, yes, yes. So we have able to do a lot of work, it's productive. An area where only one person may work, it's safety zone. Part of a tool that protects workers, fingers, hands, eyes, etc. It's PPE and the danger or risk, it's hazard. Now we have to match the opposites, not the synonyms, now the opposites. Okay, voila, number one. Uh, organized, uh, dirty, dirty. Ah, disorganized. disorganized. <laughs> Vala, number two. Clean, dirty. Yes. Okay. Natalia. Clear instructions, unclear. Yes. Mikola. Clear work bunch, cluttered. Yes. So here, guys, as you can see, we have two clears, yes? When he is giving some instructions, so your instruction is unclear, for example. And when he's talking about uh, workbench, for example, we cannot say that this workbench is unclear. No, if we're talking about some uh, substance or some place, okay? So we use some words like cluttered, okay? So it means also it's not clear. And the last one, Roman. Safe, unsafe. Yes, so always with the opposites, guys. Sometimes we go with un, this, in. So that's why it's very easy to know the opposites. Organized, disorganized, clear, a clean, it's a dirty. Clear, when we talk about instructions, we can say that your instructions is unclear. When you talk about some places, for example, workbench, it's cluttered and safe is unsafe, okay? Okay, Natalia, choose one word in these 10 words and give me a sentence. You can choose any word that you want. Organized. Okay, tell me a sentence. My workshop is very organized. <laughs> Do you have a workshop? Or are you just yes. making it? Okay. On the kitchen, for example. <laughs> So you can say that my kitchen is very organized. Okay. Yes. What about you, Vala? My house is clean. <laughs> clean or very clean? Very clean after weekend. <laughs> after weekend. What about you, Roman? <laughs> I want you to make a sentence. Use any words that you want. Yeah. 
so I can say that your voice is unclear from my right now. I don't understand you. I want you to choose any word and to make a sentence. Any word. You have 10 words. Organized, clean, clear, safe, cluttered, dirty, disorganized, unsafe, unclear. Choose any word and make a sentence only. You must move. Hmm. Okay, let us go to Mikola. Mikola. <laughs> now is my garage is cluttered. Only now, yes. Yeah? Only now, yeah. Only now. Only now. Only now. Okay, okay. Okay, guys. Let us move on. Writing. But before we start writing, Vala, start reading for us, please, the job card. Your voice is not clear, unclear. Simon, uh, the discharge no, hose is uh, the bulk tanker loading area by, uh, by tree uh, is leaky. Could you check it, please? Take a spare wall with you. Go over there at 8 of tomorrow, Wednesday, 20, or 12 April morning. You should finish by 11. Uh, you've already done the paperwork, paperwork, risk assessment, permit to work, thanks, Roger. Mm -hmm. So we can see Roger is talking to Simon and he's telling us about a problem. This is, we call it a job card, for example. So, Natalia, what is the problem? The problem is leaking uh, of the bulk tanker. The discharge holes in the bulk tanker. Hmm? So we can say it's leaking. The discharge hose in the bulk tanker is leaking, for example, or loading area. Okay. Mikola, mm -hmm. what has Roger asked Simon to do? Uh, can he check? Oh, no, no, so yes, can he check it? If so. And uh, take spare well. So yes, he wants him to check it and to take a spare valve with him. Yes. Roman, how long will the job probably take? Uh, three, three times. Wait, three hours. Three times. Yes, three hours. It will be, he told him maybe at 8 a.m. tomorrow, Wednesday morning, and then you will finish at 11. So it will take three hours. Yes. Now, guys, use the information from the note, and I want you to complete the job. But first, shares, 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 shares. Okay, guys, you have a job card. I want you to open the group chat and I wanted to send it to me privately. So you have to, co to complete the job card on the right side and only I want you to write the words, okay? Number one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, if so. Don't write all the job cards, job card number, blah, blah, blah. No, only words according to the job card on the left side, okay? And the one who will finish first will be winner. But please send it to me privately.
Yes, Mikola. But number two. I have one mistake. Uh, I uh, wrote it. I think uh, discharge holes. <laughs> no, you cannot put discharge holes because you cannot say check discharge valve, discharge holes, valve on discharge holes. Mm -mm. I'm also looking for it. I'm thinking about the. Roman, Roman, when they ask you about the date and the time, you have to put the 12th of April. You cannot only put it 8. Okay. So, yes, it's 8 a.m., but you have to put it 12 April, 8 a.m., something like this. Okay. okay. So check discharge valve on the discharge hose. Mm -mm. I guess we can. Natalia, you cannot put uh, you cannot put spare check the spare valve. No. He's, he's asking him take a spare valve with you. Mm -hmm. Valentina check the discharge holes. I guess it should be the only. So check the valve on the discharge holes. Because I could, <laughs> yes, I couldn't find a word that it should be there. So check the only spare valve. Yes. Again with you, Valentina. Uh, Valentina, you cannot the date and time. You have to put twelfth of April. Okay. Uh, yes. Uh, April. Because it's asking us date and time, not only time. If it's time, we can put eight. I agree. Okay, now guys, now let us assume, for instance, that it's 8.10 minutes, okay? So 8 and 10 minutes on Wednesday. Answer the questions. Natalia, has Roger done the risk assessment? Yes. Okay. Uh, Vala, has she, Simon or Simon? I don't know how. Yes, he has. Started the job. He started the job, yes. Mm -hmm. What about yes. you, Mikola? Has Simon finished the job? Of course, no. Of course, no. Yes. Because he told him maybe it will take three hours. Or maybe that our friend Roger is very, Simon is very fast. No. <laughs> <laughs> I think it's an. Um, uh impossible yes it's impossible correct guys here i guess we finished from writing the information about the job card okay we have very easy grammar for today it's will when we use will in general guys we use will in order to talk about something that will happen in future okay so for example i will give the lesson today at 18 no, no, for example. So this thing that I will do, of course, today. So I will eat today after the lecture, something like this. So whenever we use will, it's very easy. With I, you, he, she, it, we, you, they, we will use it. So they will check the reports. So always, guys, subject plus will plus infinitive, guys. Infinitive, the main form of the verb, infinitive. 
while when we want to talk about something in negative, also we use I, you, he, she, it, we, you, but then we will put not after it. So they will not check the reports. Okay. Subject plus will plus not plus the also plus infinitive. Question what we will do? It's very easy. We will put will in the beginning of the sentence. So will I, will you, will he, will she, will it, will you check the reports today? So always guys. Will plus the subject plus the infinitive verb. And the short answer is yes, they will, no, they won't. When we use will, we, we decide what to do, often in response to a particular situation. So for example, this belt is very noisy. Okay, I'll tighten it, I will. This The mechanic coming to look at the part, I will not touch it until he gets here. And we'll talk about in general into future, the new bearing will arrive tomorrow. Will you be here for the meeting? And we often use will when we have some expression, time expression. For example, later, tomorrow, next month, next year, okay? In the nearest future. So whenever we have this time expression, we will use will. I'll check the part again later. We will reinstall the pump tomorrow afternoon. So very easy now. Complete the short conversation. Use the words in the list. We have will, I, and want. Uh, Roman, number one. Well, let's say first conversation. The belt is broken. Mm -hmm. uh, and then I, I will replay, uh, replace it. So here, guys, you can use I'll replace it. OK? It's like the same of I will. But whenever we have I, we can use this I'll uh, apostrophe double L, okay? okay. I'll replace it. I'll replace it. Mm -hmm. Okay, Mikola, number two. Or second. I will finish that job today. No, I won't. Okay, Vada, well, last one. Will Khalid, Khalid be here tomorrow? No, he won't. He will be here on Tuesday. Yes, so you see, guys, very easy. Uh, Natalia, continue, please. It's damaged. Uh, we will replace it. Uh, will we oh. have time tomorrow? No, we won't. Okay. So now I want you to say what you will do in each situation, okay? Say whatever you want, but you have to put will. So for example, the belt is worn out. Okay, I will replace it or I'll, I'll replace it. So Mikola, try the first one, number one. The batteries need to be replaced. Mm -hmm. <laughs> okay, I will try to replace it. Okay. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> I will try to replace it, yes, correct. Uh, Natalie. Natalie, Natalie. I can't lift this box by, by myself. I won't lift this box. <laughs> so what you will do? You will not lift I it. <laughs> okay, you won't. It's up to you. Vala. I can't find my goggles in my office. I won't find my uh, yet. I won't uh, Yes, I will not find to my Google. To do the job because I, I can find my Google. <laughs> <laughs> okay, lazy. <laughs> Roman. Uh, I don't have time to write the repeat report, repair report today. <laughs> I, I won't write report, repair report today. Okay. Guys, here I wanted you to give me a solution, not like, okay, I can, so I want. But you, all of you said, oh, I want, okay. So for example, number four, I don't have time to, to write a, rep a repair I'll report today. Yes, I will write it tomorrow. I will find time tomorrow, for example. I can't find my goggles in my office. Okay, I will search for them. But you are lazy, guys. Okay, I want. <laughs> so... <laughs> <laughs> yeah, busy. <laughs> okay, here. Here. <laughs> Voila, what you will do? Number five. 
my car is out of benzene. <laughs> yes, my car is uh, with the fuel, fuel solarka. <laughs> so what you will do? You have to put well. <laughs> um, I will um, napolmio pull pull it. <laughs> yes. You will fill. You will pull. You you mean you pull push. Yes. Ah, now you can push, but you cannot find your goggles. You don't want to work. <laughs> okay. What about you, Mikola? My desk is dirty. <laughs> uh, I will try and <laughs> to uh, wash it. <laughs> yes, or I will try to organize or to clean it. Yes. Okay. It was to China for you. <laughs> okay, guys. Let us move to. We have interesting story, or let's say sequences of uh, of how to say it a story, a sequence of something that happened. Yes. So I want you to match each sentence with the pictures. Hmm. 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 Let me start with Roman, number one. Super. <laughs> we, we repaired the hose. We repaired the hose. Look at the, uh, this one, the arrow. We are telling you something here. It's not repairing. Mm -mm. So, so usually, what what is the first thing that you do? Five, yeah, five. What? Five. <laughs> sure. Maybe five. Maybe what? Five. Five. Uh -huh. No, no. I'm I'm telling you number one. Look at number one. Number one. Yes. Ah, mm -hmm. I understand what you meant. No, you're right. You are right, Roman. But now I want you to look at number one. Not, don't look at A, B, C, D, E, F. I want you to tell me number one. Which is it? So look at the picture and tell me which sentence it is. Number one. maybe uh, maybe install the pump yes correct we installed the pump yes natalia number two the pump stopped working yes uh mikola number three we reinstalled the pump installed the pump Kako reinstalled look at the we... look at the arrow it's up we reinstalled the pump Mm -mm, mm -mm, no reinstall it means to put it again here what ah, they are doing ah we removed the pump yes i told you it's a sequence of a story so we installed the pump the pump stopped working what we will do we remove the pump okay voila after that what we will do we replace the bearing yes we replace the bearing mikola number five we repair the house Yes, hose. we repaired the hose. And the last one, Mikola. <laughs> we reinstalled the pump. Yes, so it's like a story, like I told you guys. We installed the pump, the pump stopped working. We removed the pump. We replaced the bearing. We repaired the hose. And then we reinstalled the pump. Okay? Now, vocabulary. I will tell you some conversation and then you will tell me which word you listen to okay so listen carefully we have a small conversation two people talking to each other how how is it going with that pump fine we found the problem what was wrong with it the bearing was frozen 
Have you replaced it? Not yet, but we've ordered a new one. It will be here tomorrow. And we, re we replaced the hose. Why did you do that? It was split. Hmm. Okay, so when will it be ready? We will get the bearing tomorrow morning. We will reinstall the pump tomorrow after noon. So guys, the bearing was frozen or broken? Frozen. Frozen. Mm. The bearing was or was not replaced? Wasn't. The bearing wasn't replaced. Mm. Not yet, but we ordered. Yes, yes, yes. Now, the hose was or was not replaced? Or was. was replaced, yes. Touch no one? Yes. Okay. Okay. I agree. <laughs> now, <laughs> why you are shouting? <laughs> and the last one, the hose was split or bent? Split. Toshna split? Yes. Yes. <laughs> okay, I also agree. Okay, guys, so the bearing was frozen. The bearing was not replaced. The hose was replaced and the hose was split, okay? Now, I want you to look at the pictures. You have A, B, C, D, E, F, G, H. And I want you to tell me, number one, a belt. What is a belt? Which one, guys? Maybe C. 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 Do you agree, Val? I agree with Vala completely. <laughs> okay, then. What about you, Roman? Uh, Do you agree with your... Uh, yes. Yeah. See, yes. number uh, picture C. Okay, okay, C. Okay. What about number two, a bolt? Bolt. Mm. E. e. Okay, okay. Ah, this one is easy. Computer. <laughs> hey, hey. Okay. Hey. A copier. Copier. And G. Uh, G. Yes. A gear. Gear. Yes. Ash. H. H. Chisternai. Chisternoi. Something like this. Last uh, from two months, I replaced this gear in my motorcycle. Mm -hmm. This is a small thing. It costed me more than three hundred dollars. I hate this gear. Okay, what about a cap? B. B, correct. What about a tank? F. And a wire? Uh, G. Yes, 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 yes. So we have a belt, a bolt, computer, copier, gear, cap, tank, wire. Now, the interesting. Match the sentence helps to describe the picture. Mm. I like it, this one. <laughs> so let us start how do you think guys the wires what are the problem with the wires well this one is easy number one because this is the only one that we have a plural, so the answer will be plural. <laughs> the wires to be correct, uh, correct, correct. Yes, are corroded. Corroded. Yes, wires are corroded, guys. Do you know what is corroded? <laughs> oh, if you say so, then yes, okay. <laughs> I will not argue with you. You look at number D, a uh, picture. Chirdi, you will understand what is corroded. Okay. Okay. What about the tank, guys? Okay. Let me ask you one by one. Natalia, what's wrong with the tank? It's leaking. It's leaking. Agde, you see leaking in the tank. Then. H. Mm. Who said H? Is the matched. 
There is a big dent in it. Who answered? Valentina or Natalia? Valentina. You see, I asked Natalia, Valentina answered. Okay, now. <laughs> <laughs> Correct, it's damaged, there's a big so dent in it. She can then answer the next question. <laughs> <laughs> okay, what about you, Valentina, now? The computer. The computer is uh, frozen. The system is down. A G. Okay, G. okay, okay. Okay. Uh, Mikola, the copier. Mikola. Copier, copier is uh, jammed. Yes, correct. The copier is jammed. Mm -hmm. Mikola, the bolt. The bolt is rusted. Roman, the gear. Noisy. Uh, it's loose, so it's noisy. <laughs> Maybe. No. No, какой noisy, no, no. Mm. No. <laughs> Someone is cheating. <laughs> Mikola, you will not get a raise. Stop cheating. It's not me. Not you. А что сейчас ты делаешь? Yes, warn. Guys, do you know what is warn? Warn, it means when, when it was used a lot of time. For a long time, sorry. So it becomes warn. Okay? Something like this is notiony. I don't know, maybe. Okay, Natalia. I mean Natalia, not Valentina. The belt. It's loose, so it's noisy. Yes. So belt is remain, I guess. Also, I have to rip. It's leaking. Yes, the cap is leaking. So, guys, the wires are corroded. The tank is damaged. There's a big dent in it. The computer is frozen, the system is down. The copier is jammed, the bolt is rusted, the gear is worn, or we can say the gear is worn out. Uh, the belt is loose, so it's noisy, and the cap is leaking, according to the picture. These were the vocabulary for today. It's my job. Our friend, Kaiser Souza. Have you heard about this name, Kaiser Souza, before, guys? No? Mm -mm. No? Mm -mm. No. Hmm. Mm -mm. <laughs> do you watch? Do you watch uh, old movies, guys? A little bit old. Mm -mm. Mm -mm. Mm -mm. Uh, do you know this uh, movie? It's named The Usual Suspect. For Kevin Spacey. Mm -mm. Oh, okay, okay, okay. Guys, I'm giving you one of the most amazing characters in the history of cinema. And now you're telling me you don't know him. <laughs> okay, I recommend you to watch, guys. The Usual Suspect for Kevin Spacey. It was, I guess, in 30 years ago or 35, maybe. Okay. <laughs> Valentina, start reading about our friend Kaiser Souza. I am an electrician. I work on anything and everything electrical in the oil industry. I help uh, to install, maintain, and repair electrical uh, wearing pictures and control equipment. This includes uh, drop, drop shooting when things go wrong. A lot of my work is outdoors. Yes, it's troubleshooting. Mm -hmm. Okay, and Trouble I re shooting. repair shooting. electrical wires, wiring. Electrical okay, wiring. wiring. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. 
Okay, Roman, continue, please. I work in uh, all kinds of weather. Sometimes I work in very high places. Uh, during any working week, I use uh, my personal protection equipment. Okay. Mikola, continue, please. Electricity creates two main hazards. The first is electrification. If electricity enters your body, uh, it can burn your bald badly or kill you. Uh, the other uh, hazard is sparks. Sparks are generally hazardous but especially in the oil and gas industry. If there is a spark in an area with flammable gas, of course, there can be an explosion. Okay, and the last one, Natalia. I work very carefully and check everything. Is the electricity switched off? Am I using the right PPE? And other electricians check my work too. We look out for each other. Yes, and other electricians, electricians, electricians check. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay, this is our friend Kaiser Souza, and he's telling us about his job. Now, Roman, what is Kaiser's job title? Um, Kaiser's job is electrician. Electric. Electric. <laughs> electrician guys electric okay <laughs> electrician okay voila what are the two hazards that electricity creates the first is electrician electro electro cushion yeah? yes electric cushion and the second uh, is uh, sparks yes Mm. Mikola, what does Kaiser do? It uh, helps to install, maintain and repair electrical wiring, fixtures and control equipment. Mm -hmm. Guys, uh, electrical, electrical, electrical. Okay. electrical. Hmm. Natalia, where does he works mostly? Where? Mostly, sometimes he works in very hard places. Mostly, not sometimes. Mostly. In everything electrical, in the oil industry. <laughs> where? <laughs> Plus, I told you, electrical. Okay, Electrical. but that one is electrician. <laughs> Electrical. Now, Vala will answer. Where does he work mostly, guys? Where? No, it's out, outdoors. Yes, a lot of my work is outdoors. So, mostly he works outdoors. Okay. Mm, Natalia, in your opinion, which PPE does Kaiser use while working? Mm. Mm -hmm. I like this uh, question. Used Googles. Mm -hmm. um, Why not? Googles, correct. Station. I work in a very high places. Mm. What should I use? Natalia, I gave you one lesson. It was only about PPE. How do you think, guys? PPE equipment? Clothes, belt. Helmet. Mm -hmm. yeah. For example, uh, especially shoes, uh, resina, uh, entire shoes. <laughs> so, if he works in a very high places, what should he wear? Be uh, belt or and um, cap. Uh, cap. What? What? Helmet. What do we call it? Don't tell me belt. No, 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 not helmet. Helmet, yes. 
Sex Lucci, he will wear helmet. But if he works in high places, what should he? Yes. Спасибо. Дякую. Thank you. Merci. Namaste. Gracias. Grazie. Thank you. I told you thank you in seven different languages. That's Tashakur Ler. Eight different languages. <laughs> yes, guys, because he works in very high places, so he wears safety harness. Also, he should wear some gloves. gloves. He should also wear some face guards also. Like in this Silpo, if you go to Silpo, they wear some face guards now due to Corona. Thank you, Corona. Yes, and gloves and some leather shoes, for example, and clothes. Yes, 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 correct. And goggles. Pronunciation. Now, guys, I want you to match the words with the pictures. Because I made it a little bit the same. Repair the rip, repair the rip. Pull the tab, pull the tap. Turn the cap, pull the tab. So you have to know the difference between. So how do you think, guys? Repair the rib. R-I-B, rib. Which one? <laughs> Maybe to A. Mm. Mikola, you are dangerous. Why? <laughs> because you know. <laughs> okay. It's, uh, just uh, it's logic. Yes. Lucky guess, let's say. <laughs> Number two, turn the cab. One A. Tia Posni. <laughs> Correct. Okay, other than Mikola now. <laughs> Pull the tab. Three A. Correct, three A. Ladies, where are you? Rip. <laughs> Repair the rip. This is for you guys, ladies. Repair the li rip. To, to be. Yes, rip. Correct. Now, pull the tap. One B. Tap. Uh, three B. Yes, it's three B. Tap. It's for water. And the last one, turn the cap. One B. Yes. So you see, guys, there's some difference. They are the same. If you are talking very fast, you will not uh, recognize if you say B or P, but you have to know them. Rib, cab, tab, rip, tap, cap. Okay? Mm -hmm. Now I want you to open the group chat and I want you to complete these words. Number one and two for Valentina. Number three and four is for Natalia. Five and six for Mikola and seven and eight for our boss, Roman. You have to use P or B. Valentina, da. Mikola, you are very uh, lazy, you know that. TV. All, all words. <laughs> <laughs> no, not all words, but I told you to write at least the word, not to write P or B. <laughs> write the full word. I cup and broken. <laughs> But you know that cab, you can use cab and cap, but you only write P, so it's wrong. Hmm? Ah, for talking uh, mm -hmm. mm -hmm. Why? Itak, itak. No, itak, itak. You have to write itak, itak also. <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay, guys. Belt, yes. Bolt, correct, Valentina. Computer, Natalia. Copier. Mm -hmm. Da, da, da. Number five, cab and cap, correct. Number six, broken, with B. 
number seven repair with p and problem with p also okay okay guys okay now let us go to writing and the last one we have read the repair record put the notes in the correct place okay so you have one i must do goodbye say goodbye you must to go yes we still have two minutes yes. you don't have time at all five minutes maximum yes my uh, boss Gina, uh, uh, lunch is finished uh, I, past. i understand i understand okay natalia i will send you the home task and last it, uh, next week it will be the last week it will be only for writing okay okay thank you goodbye mm -hmm. Bye bye. Quality show. Okay, guys. Now you have the repair record. I want you to put the notes in the correct place. We have check belt tension, check oil level, compressor making strange noise, tighten belt, loose belt. Okay. I want you to fill it and to write it in the group chat. Problem troubleshooting notes cause repair. Okay. Or wait, 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 wait before you continue. Uh, let's say we have two two variants, number one and number two. Okay, so number one, Valentina, you will take it number one, and number two, Roman and Mikula. Okay, Roman and Mikula, number two, it's the same as number one. Okay, but here I'm giving you the picture, complete the repair record. And I'm giving you signs, as you can see, in number one, two, three, four, five pictures. So please complete the repair record for variant number two, Roman and Mikola. And Valentina, you're alone for number for variant number one. Mm. Let us see. Mm, Valentina. Compressor making strange noise. Check the tension, check oil. Does it have lie, Valentina? Correct, correct, correct. Correct. So the item is to repair its portable air compressor. What is the problem? It's compressor making strange noise. And what are the notes, the troubleshooting notes? 
checked belt tension and checked oil level. And what did you find? The cause was a loose belt. And how did you fix it? By tightening the belt. Mm. Yes, yes, yes. Now we're waiting from Mikula and the boss. Mm. Mikula, it won't start. Check spark, check spark bong. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Mikula. Yes. Okay. Mm. Mm. Mm -hmm. You have one thing, it's missing. What about the engine oil? You can look at picture number two and you have an eye on it. Uh, I agree with you, but I'm uh, very lazy for her typing. Ah, we have one, yes. So you have, you, you have to put it where? Uh, what? Where do you have to put it? I can understand you. I or, said it's missing. Yes, the engine oil is missing. So where do you have to put it? Well, if uh, engine oil is uh, normal level. Uh, I understand. But engine oil, this word, where you have to put it? Number one, two, three, four, or five? Uh, uh, sorry, uh, two. Mm -hmm. two. Mm -hmm. Troubleshooting notice. No, uh, I uh, yes, I uh, I understand. You will add it there. Yes, with uh, checked spark. Yeah, yes, yes, yes. With uh, checked spark log. Yes, Roman. Yes, Roman. And the last one. So guys, the item to repair is portable generator. Correct. And what is the problem? It won't start. Fetch him all. But first we have to take notice to check something. We checked the engine oil and we checked the spark plug. What did we find? We found that the cause was dirty spark plug. And to repair it, what to do? to clean the spark plug, sorry, okay? This is a repair record for variant number two. And variant number one, I will repeat it again in case you did not hear. We have a portable air compressor. The problem with it, it's making strange noise. We checked the oil level and we checked the belt tension in order to take notes. And we found out that the cause was a loose belt and we repaired it by tightening tightening the belt okay so these were the recording reports for the two variants and guys at the end of each lesson i ask you for the keyword we had a lot of keywords for today so what were they Keywords for today. One second, please. Uh -huh. You're taking screenshots. Mm. Yes. Pump. Hose. Mm -hmm. Pump. Hose. Uh, job cut. Clean. Safe. Organized. Yes. So you sure? Dirty, dirty. Safety zone. Safety zone. Safety zone. Safety zone. Productive PPE hazard. Mm -hmm. What and else? Uh, Workshops, yes. Maintenance, uh, repair. Mm -hmm. Managing budget. Yes, what else? Repairing equipment. Mm -hmm. A wheel. Well, yes. Yeah. <laughs> Kaiser Sosa, what else? <laughs> Work planning. Mm -hmm. 
So guys, a lot of a lot of keywords: belt, bolt, gear, maintenance, troubleshooting, install, reinstall, remove, bent, corroded, damaged, frozen, jam, rusted, spilt, worn, maintain, manage, organize, broken, cluttered, messy, precision, tidy. You see, guys, I want you to. I told you we have a lot of words today, a lot of adjectives mm -hmm. also. And we have what? We have a checklist in order to assess our progress in this unit. I can talk about problems and solutions. I can record repairs. I can use will to talk about the future. I can talk about workshop rules and responsibilities. I can talk about workshop management. I can write a job card. Mm. Yes. 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 So present. It's usually 50-50. 50-50, <laughs> it's good. It's good. It's... Yes, I like it. I like it when someone tell me that, okay, not too much, but we learned a new thing for today. This is what I want, guys. I'm here to improve your English. So guys, uh, hmm. at the end, I would like to thank you for your attention. So the same as each time. <laughs> I I hope that it was interesting. I hope it was useful, and I hope it was not boring at all. And I hope that you learned the new words for today, and maybe you wrote them down, and you increased your vocabulary uh, dictionary. Let's say. Okay. And uh, like I told Natalia, I will send you the home task by myself. No need to look at the Facebook. And uh, show in case that you want uh, the correction, I will also send it to you the previous correction. And this home task will be the last one for this project. Uh, last and the final lesson will be next week, and it will be writing. Let's say I will prepare something only to write. And what else? Yes, stay safe. Take care of yourselves, take care of your families, and I will see you next time, hopefully. Bye bye, guys. Goodbye. Bye bye. Bye bye. Bye bye. Bye bye.